Okay, Victorian Home Journal here. How are you all doing today? Let me give you a quick glimpse of my Japanese maples I got here on the property. But anyway, today's video, what we're gonna do is on the topic of paint. Painting trim detail. Some of my followers have asked me, how do I go about painting my house on the exterior. So today I'm gonna to explain to you what I do, I'm not saying it's the right way, and, and to many people it may not be the right way, but what I've done is working for me. So I'm gonna explain my side of it. See that section up there, gold and white? That's the way the house was when I moved here. See the sections right here? That's what I've turned it into. I've added green and I've added red. And this was a historic palette that was typical on the brick Italianate homes in the 18, late 1800s. I started there and went around the other side of the house, went all the way around, went to the front, came around the corner, right there and on over to here. And that's where I'm at right now. So I have that small section that's left. So basically what I do is I just go up there and I scrape away all the loose paint with a wet rag. I clean up all of the dust, the dirt and the debris, get the surface clean and I paint it with a paint and primer in one. I'm running a 32 foot extension ladder with a stabilizer up there on the end that flares out and pushes you off the surface of the wall so you can work a little easier above your head, especially if the box gutters flare out and it keeps that ladder more stable as well. I have a safety harness that came with a tie down that I purchased at Lowe's. You basically take the rope and tie it around your chimney, put on a safety harness and you use that little uh, hook up there and you buckle it onto your safety harness and if you're working on a roof and if you fall you're not going to roll off the roof but that's my setup so now we're gonna we're gonna go up there to the roof you're gonna come with me and i'm gonna show you what i have been up against here's the tools i'm using for the job two scrapers of different sizes different widths i use this one to get in between the tight spots I use this to scrape away the bulk of my problem. My view way up here on the ladder, probably 30 feet up here. Check out this view I have. That's been one thing I've really enjoyed about working up here on a ladder, doing this kind of work. I'm looking forward to working really hard on the house today and then jumping in that swimming pool as a reward for your day's hard labor. Okay, so here we are. This is what we got. This is what it looks like on my roof line and on my wood trim work. We've got to scrape away all of this. Just did that section last week. That's what it's gonna look like versus what it looks like right now. And I have to reach over my head, which is scary, and scrape away all that. It helps to use some safety goggles because as you're looking up and doing this, it's all gonna come down in your face. See all that? It may take me a few hours just to do that. Okay. 
After I've got it scraped away, we're going to take a wet rag and then we're going to clean all this debris up and get all the dust off. Let it dry for a day and then we're going to come up here and put a paint and primer on one. Not a primer first and then a paint second. I'm using paint and primer in one. It saves time and I'm going to remain confident that the product is going to hold up. But what I did five years ago is holding up just fine. So I just thought I'd throw that out there. If, if you want to try a paint and primer in one, it could maybe save you a little bit of time. So here's what we got. We've scraped all the loose paint away, right? That's the molding underneath the box gutters. Here's underneath the box gutters. And here's my corbels. All of the loose paint is gone and it's been wiped away with a solution, just, just water basically, to get all the dust and debris off so the paint will stick. Here's a side of the corbel that's been done. They look like this when they're finished. This is what it looks now. Okay, I just started to paint there and I thought, hey, I forgot to videotape. So I'm back up here to record the befores so I can show you the afters. So today we're painting the green. We got that corbel painted one coat. We got that strip up there painted green one coat. We're gonna go ahead and start painting, okay? So stay tuned. All right, so here we are. It's all finished all the way around the house. There's the section. That's what it looks like when it's completed. video please like and subscribe to my channel if you would and tune in for more videos coming up this summer as I plan to keep the ball rolling on this house and get a lot more done to it and this is Victorian home journal God bless